Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. So today, just wanted to follow up. I had one of my subscribers ask me a question. Um, this is for Lone Wolf NQ2UI. So they mentioned that on their Legion Go that it didn't recognize any external hard drives that they attached. So uh, yesterday's video, I bought this Lexar uh, one terabyte SSD drive uh, from Costco. And what I liked about this one is it has the mag attachment. So you can attach this to the back of your Lenovo Legion Go to add extra storage without opening up your unit. So let's go ahead and attach that. Um, but uh, you'll see right now I've got my C drive and I've got my SD card. Okay, so that worked just fine just sticking it in. Now for the hard drive, let's go ahead and attach that so I bought this um, 180 degree USB C male to USB female so what I did with it was the hard drive I got from Costco had the MagSafe on it so I would line this up and then I would magnetically attach that so let's go ahead and put that in boom put this in boom and which is great because now I have that portable storage. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my hard drive. Now, sometimes your hard drive may not show up here. Okay, so if it doesn't show up here um, for my my subscriber, what you can consider doing is a couple things, but. It may require you, you know, getting a keyboard and mouse to do all this. Okay, so here's what my recommend recommendation is. Okay, so I'm gonna attach my mouse and keyboard. I have one of these cool little docks here. So this, fortunately, the Lenovo Legion Go has a bottom USB C port. So I'm gonna attach this, and I'm just attaching this to a. a USB hub. So this hub has a mouse and also has a dongle for my keyboard. Okay. Here's my keyboard and here's my mouse. So again, these uh, these are handheld PCs, right? They play games, they play everything, but they they also are PCs and we forget about that sometimes. So what you're I'm going to do is you're going to go over to if let's just say you you put your hard drive in and you don't see that SSD drive that I have, okay? What you can do, you're gonna go down to your Windows um, start menu here, you're gonna right click. So you're gonna, you're gonna right click on that. And then you're gonna go all the way to where it says disk management, okay? So you're gonna go to this one where it says disk management, okay? So what that does, it, it opens up what hard drives are available. So typically XFAT works really well for like PCs and for Macs. So if you do a lot of uh, interchanging between Macs and PCs, I would highly recommend XFAT. But sometimes uh, NTFS, you need to format that into the NTSF format uh, filing system. And that typically works for like Xbox games, if you have the Xbox um, PC, you want to make sure it's NTSF because it won't recognize XFAT. That's in kind of my testing. So what you do is you'll go ahead and find the hard drive that's not quite initialized yet. It'll say it needs to initialize. You'll right click it and it'll give you like a menu like this and you have the option to format it. So when you hit format, it's going to ask you, okay, you're going to delete anything on it. And then in this case, I'm going to hit no because I've already done it. But in, uh, in your situation, you're going to say yes. And then you're going to either format it into NTSFS or XFAT. So I would try both if your hard drive is not being recognized by your system. Okay. And then once you get that done, you can go over to Steam. You can close that out. Boom. And then over on Steam, you're gonna go over here to the top left-hand side where it says Steam, and I need to 
install some games on here, but this is how you add those hard drives so you can install games from your Steam library, which is predominantly where I play my games. So you click on that, you're gonna go to settings. And then over here, you're gonna scroll down to where it says storage. Okay, it says storage. And on the top right hand side, it says local C drive. So I only have 60 gigabytes of it free. I can scroll down here and I'm, I already have the external D drive. That one's already set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a drive which is that one terabyte SSD. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and find my one terabyte SSD. I'm gonna go that and hit OK to add. Now I have all three hard drives available to add games. And so when I go over to my library, I can install either of these games that I want onto any of that hard drive, okay? So with that said, um, hopefully um, for you, Mr. Lone Wolf or Miss Lone Wolf, that worked for you. So definitely just to recap, you wanna go over to the start menu, right click. This is just if you put in a hard drive and it doesn't recognize it, you go over here, right click here on the start menu, go to your disk management, find the drive. If it's, if it's a working drive, it will show up over here and it may be uninitiated. You're gonna have to right click it and then go to format and format that into either XFAT or NTFS and see if that does the trick, okay? Well, today's video is pretty uh, straightforward. And I uh, just want to say thank you for sus my subscribers and their questions that you have. And if I'm able to have time to get to them, I will help solve some of your problems. Um, with that said, if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. If it's your first time coming to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support. Um, definitely gives me the motivation to keep making videos like this. So with that said, take care of yourself and each other. And I will catch you on the next video. That's it. Bye for now.